Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to the workshop. So, I get a lot of questions about the workshop, which is epic. I love this place and a lot of you seem to really like it as well. So, I just thought now we're properly in, we're, pro, we're well, two months in. Yeah, I think we're getting two months into it now. So, everything's pretty much here, um, to a point. Um, there's obviously the sidewalk's not in here, I'm still using it out until the uh, winter comes and then we'll put that away. Um, it'll probably come in here for a bit of TLC, but we're in. So, I wanted to do a quick tour. So, let's get into this. Where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting Right, so where should we start? We might as well start here. We're stood right next to the 64 volt Amazon. So, at the moment, the layout is kind of working. It's not finished, this place. Um, future, future plans is we want to kind of create a clean room that end. Um, and it would be really nice to have a ramp in the center eventually. Um, but obviously, all that costs money. All that's going to take time. It's working as it is now. So, in this first bay, so we created the three bays. We've got 64 volt Amazon and Gloria. Um, Basically, engines out, strip down started. We know what panels we need. We're gonna get going with it. That, if everyone, I know a lot of people come to the channel for the classic minis, but right back at the beginning, right, 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 way, way, way. We're talking what two years now. I've had this channel. I said that obviously we'd start with minis. There'll always be minis, but other cars that I want to own will come along. So we've had, we've had the 940 Turbo, which oh god, I need to own that car again. I've made the big mistake there, but we created this place by by making the move, but oh my God, no, I've made a mistake. I missed that car. James, you know this. We've had the Mazda, the Unos Roadster, the Mark 1. We had that alongside the 940. We daily both of them, basically. Um, I loved owning that Mazda. I really, really did. It was one of the best cars I've ever owned, um, but it, it made way to, to move on to other projects and I see the, the Volvo Amazon out of it. So it, it swings around the belts. It's quite difficult to keep hold of them all. Um, but yeah. Gloria is one of my dream cars. It's staying on the channel. I don't ever intend to sell this car. Um, restoration wise, I'm not going for concourse. Don't do concourse. Um, it's gonna be a good, clean, straight car, hopefully, with nice paintwork, good sounding engine, and I wanna use it. I wanna use it for as Volvo developed the car to be a good driver's car. Um, I'm not trying to win awards with it. I'm gonna clean and paint everything. The underside's gonna get protected. Um, and I work my way around the car in sections. So please go check out the playlist on that car. It is a barn find, one owner for new car with incredibly low mileage. So please go check out that. So in the middle bay, we've got Gary, the 89 Classic Mini. Um, this is my wife's car. It started the channel, basically, this car. Um, it was the first proper restoration I embarked on to this point, to, to this kind of in-depth. Um, and I, I don't want to rush to do another one this bad yet. <laughs> um, but we, we've panelled this car completely. Um, it's been a long road ahead. It's been very, very stop-start because obviously I've wanted to bring you guys other content and obviously it's been quite an expensive restoration. Um, that being said, it's in here now. It's in the centre of the workshop. I'm enjoying having it in here and out the damp for another winter um, because it, if anyone knows where the channel started in my little garage at home, it was just getting dripped on. So all that work was just going to waste. Currently, it's fully painted underneath. Subframes are back in. Some suspension's kind of thrown in. It's not finished. Um, just to get it here. We've got roof repairs to do, a bulkhead repair, and then we can start looking at prepping and painting the car. Um, I will crack on with them. I will try and cover as much as I can on the videos, but it's, yeah, it's one of them. It's gonna be a slow build. Um, and I'm in the point where it's coming up to winter. We've got loads of other stuff to be getting on with. Mrs. Simpson doesn't want it rushed. She never has done. She's always been quite supportive of the whole channel. She's a massive backbone behind the channel. Um, so. 
I don't want to paint it in the winter really, if I can help it, but we've got so much prep to do. So maybe we'll get it primed up maybe um, and get it kind of ready to be painted in the spring. I don't know. See how we get on with it. But that's where we are with that car. Moving around the workshop, we've got Harry, the classic minivan. So there's a video out on this car now. It might upset people that I'm not starting it. I can't help that. Um, I can't do everything. I'm one man in here. Um, uh, it's sat there. I've got my plans for it. It's going to be a clean resto in the Atlantic green color that you see now. Um, I've got some Cooper S wheels for it. It's going to break upgrade, suspension upgrade, and it's going to have a, a fruity engine, but not stupid, drivable. Um, interior, I know what seats I want. I know what color I want. Um, and all that will come into fruition once we get going on it. But for now, it looks, how lovely does it look just sat in this workshop? So that's why I wanted it down here. I was obviously paying for storage a bit somewhere else, so it needed to come here. Um, and plus, if I look at it enough, I might start it. But I made the big decision to start the Amazon first because this is a big, big car to have sat around doing nothing. And also it's a change of pace from the minis. So sorry you mini guys, but you know it will come to the channel. Um, and I'm really tempted to start picking away at the roof when I get a bit of downtime whenever that may be. <laughs> so that's the minivan. It's just sat there really. It's basically storage. It's a shed in my shed. Um, on the walls, we've got bits and pieces coming up. So we take a break from the projects. So a lot of these have been donated, which is really, really cool. Um, this one's been made up by Mr. Simpson. So we've got kind of a center point. Um, and then it's all just bits and pieces all over the shop. So basically the idea is this is going to get covered um, in kind of pla signs and plaques and stuff like that and it's just going to be a feature wall so the idea is once the cars are done i can have a nice photograph like studio kind of thing because so someone mentioned the other day you have got an absolutely baller filming studio and i guess that is what it is it is not just a garage it's got a couch it's got a kettle it isn't just that is it um so yeah i am very very grateful but obviously I, i've worked hard for this and the channel is continuing to go in the direction i want it to go in to, to help so uh, yeah, I think I've done a lot of talking, so let's grab a brew quickly. So we'll take a break from the projects. The workshop as it is now, I am very, very happy how it's turned out. Oh yeah, we have a couch and a table. It's very luxury in here now. Even got some classic mini models donated as well. <laughs> um, it's feeling very, very much like home to a point. Um, but on a scale I never thought would happen. So while I'm having this cup of tea and warming up a little bit, because it's a bit chilly today, I just wanted to set a chance to do this video. So we're having a bit of a break from looking at the projects and the workshop. We'll crack on with that in a second. But I want to say a big thank you because I could not do this without you guys. And what, what I want to suggest to you all on moving forward is I'm going to try and try and push to three videos a week. If I can achieve that, I'm going to be so happy. Um, or it will be like every other week we have three videos. So please drop in the comments below and let me know what you think. Um, is two videos enough for you guys? Um, obviously I'm managing that with a full-time job and here and family life and stuff like that. Um, but I really, really would like to get more content out to you guys. It will give me a chance to push even more, um, test my boundaries and stuff like that. It might not happen every week, but like I say, maybe every other week we'll have a third video. So how do you feel about that? Please drop in the comments below. Right, let's sip up and carry on the tour. Right, so let's carry on the tour guys. Where do we get up to? So we've covered the 89, the Volvo Amazon and the minivan. So let's just nestle the brew down on there. Set you guys up. So now we have Eve, the 1995 Mini Mayfair. So many of you know to the channel, James, a good friend of mine. Um, his car has been kind of in storage, moving from driveway to driveway. And I've always said, when we get time comes, we'll sort it out. So the car's in here. James is a big, big supporter of the channel. Um, and obviously by having the car here, it creates me a bit more content. Not that I didn't need loads, but it's content and I wanted to help him. So T95 Mini Mayfair is in here. It's um, poorly, shall we say. There was a recent video out on that. And like I say, I'm jumping. The reason I've got three bays is because we're gonna keep content spreading out. Um, when the 89 gets to a point where, right, we're waiting for paint, it's not the right weather to paint it, la, la, la. We will move that one out of the way, we'll shove another one in there and get cracking. That's the idea of having these constant bays and having not throwing loads of cars in here to the point I can't actually move because that would just be absolutely ridiculous. 
Um, I want to keep it a good, clean working environment. So by clean working environment, you've probably noticed I've got a welding shield here. That's just protecting the clubman. When I'm welding and grinding, I can push it around and connect, uh, protect the, the 89 because obviously that's all painted underneath. I don't want to damage the bodywork any more than it already is to obviously prep for paint. Um, so we invested in that. Um, the plans with the uh, 95 Mini Mayfair is obviously a full shell, shell rest though. So please just continue to follow the channel because we've got panels everywhere now and we can really get going with it. So um, let's carry on. Let's check out the tools. Right, can't forget, can't forget this. Look at that. <whistles> right, so over here, got so many places to put a brew, it's amazing. So over here, Beautiful banner from Frost. Please go check them out in the link description below. Massive, massive sponsor to the channel. Great, great company. New warehouse open. Please go check them out. So what I've created here. So we have kind of like a paint area. Um, don't know if it's gonna stay like that. The idea is eventually this is gonna go in there. Um, so that's my welding shield I was talking about. They're a proper from a welding company. Good, like they basically pull the dust away, all the welding grime and sparks. It's fireproof, doesn't damage anything. Um, so yeah, pretty happy at that. So we've got like a little paint area here, but it will move over there because obviously I need to be in a clean area really. We've got a shelf here full of panels. So uh, we've got toolbox, then we've got panels for the 95 both there, and these are bits, the last few bits go on the 89. Um, front panel down there. And we have another panel there. So workbench, might look a bit messy, but it's not. Um, spare steel, or never throw away with steel. Got my bench grinder, or bench sander, one's got a wheel on it, that one's got a brush. Got this for Frost, excellent, excellent tool. Various tools, been working away obviously. Then I got my charging stations, all with various bits and pieces that need, you know, a battery recharging. I can literally just bang it all here, it's all in one place. Um, obviously got my to-do board, which is always changing, 89 Amazon and Eve. Um, Mini Mine, massive sponsor to the channel once again, so please go check them out. There is a discount code below as well. Awesome, awesome company. And I couldn't do all this without the support of you guys, so thank you. Roll cab, self-explanatory. Another shelf, some cool old bits and pieces up on top. Um, and also some up on there as well, which will probably just brush straight past. Um, a friend, Jackman, has donated as a bit of a set dressing. So, so cool. But this one's even got an Amazon on it. So, uh, yeah. It's working out really well. So, just got other tools, nuts and bolts, and bits and pieces on there. Uh, Amazon engine. Yeah, don't know what to do that yet. And then our awesome shelving, which Tony helped us build. So thank you very much for that, pal. Really, really like it. It's worked out really well. Everything's off the ground. Um, but yeah, so I think we've covered everything. I think. That car, not touching it. What is it? You never know what it is, can you? Um, and then obviously we've got Jerry, R72. So he sat over here. He's got bad oil leak from our last run out, which is unfortunate. So a bit of content coming on this. But yeah, he sat there with all his uh, good revival stickers still on him. Um, starts and runs absolutely fine. I just don't know what's happened. It's lost quite a bit of oil and it's got a bad oil leak. I think it's from the diff. Um, and then here, like I say, will be from like hopefully here, a clean spray room kind of area. Put some lighting in there. Um, trailer's just currently in storage. It's out of the rain. And uh, yeah, it's working out really well. And we have a lot, a lot of space. So yeah, it's, um, it's doing good. So that brings the shop tour to a bit of a close. Um, I wanted to do this video really because loads of people ask me, you know, what, what's next for the prod, what's next for the workshop, what projects are going on, you know, what's your intentions moving forward. Um, so I thought I'd just give you a quick tour what we've got going on because um, I know I can tell by the people commenting. Some people come for the Volvo, some people come for the Minis, some people come for the workshop solely. It's quite cool. We've got a really really nice community, and, and I couldn't thank you all enough for that. Um, that being said, I'm trying to push my Patreon page a little bit more now. So it's a way of donating and helping to the channel, which I'm not going to go and beg you for it, but there is a couple of you on there and it's so, so helpful. It's heartwarming that you, you really want to invest in this. Um, but obviously it gives you access to a few bits and pieces. So please go check that out. That'd be great. I'm still working on how to use it all, but we're getting there. So moving forward for the future, I did mention that. We obviously have the free bays now. Um, the 89 is constantly going to be in the background. We're going to work away with that one. The Volvo Amazon is my long term personal project, obviously, I guess. Um, and then Eve is up there. There's already plans to fill these back up again. Um, there's cars planned for that, um, let alone what we've got parked here. So we've got all sorts coming. It's not just minis, guys. So like I said right at the beginning, I want to change from minis. Um, we we'll always have them here. I own, well, we've got four or five between me and Simpson. So 
we're always having minis, but I want to invest and enjoy in other cars and have fun and learn. Because the whole point of it is to learn together. So that'll be moving forward. Um, I get a lot of comments and messages about like what the future brings for Simpsons Classic. So I've got a few goals. Um, I want to hit 10,000 subscribers. It's been a bit of a goal of mine from the beginning. It'd be heartwarming if I can do that. I think we're coming up 6,000 now, which is absolutely epic. Um, I never thought in a million years that would happen, but obviously I always set myself goals. You've got to have goals in life. Um, so that's my next goal. Um, obviously from then on, I want to absolutely rocket it if, if I possibly can. Um, sorry, my neighbor's having a bonfire there. Um, I want to absolutely obviously push this channel as much as I can because at the end of the day, I don't think it's out of the realm to say, I'd love to do this as a job. Um, I'd love to bring you guys content projects and travel around the UK meeting you all doing shows it's every every person's dream that's into cars and I, I wouldn't be you know there's no point dance about it I'd love to do that um but I can't do any of that about your guys support and yeah so thank you basically I want to say thank you for everything because it's it's massive in here I've come up two months so I thought I'd do the, the walk around and I love it I absolutely love doing this so this is just my hobby at the moment I do this purely for fun um, but I want to turn it into a little bit more. I want to bring you guys more, which obviously it's all from you. It's all the support from you guys, which makes it happen, which I, is so heartwarming. I'm going to shut up before I start crying. <laughs> um, and we'll uh, obviously look to the future. So see, let's see what we can do. Um, 2022 is coming obviously to an end. It's flying by this year. Um, 2023, I have so many plans, guys. So please obviously subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go check out my Patreon account. Go check out Facebook and Instagram. We've got stickers for sale. There's also, that's in the description below. So please go check out my eBay shop for stickers because there's things like that support that can bring more projects to the channel. Um, while you're there, comment away what would you like to see on the channel. What have you enjoyed? What do you want to see again? Is there a build you'd like me to redo? Like as in, did you really enjoy the budget club one? Should we do another budget build or um, get another Mazda? What, 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 what would you like to see? Drop in the comments below, guys. Thank you very much. I love you all for this community. It's absolutely epic. And let's just look to the future.